Matthew chapter 17 verses 1 to 9 is a powerful gospel passage that recounts the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. The transfiguration was a momentous event that occurred when Jesus took Peter, James, and John up a high mountain. While they were there, Jesus was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly, Moses and Elijah appeared before them, and they talked with Jesus. As I reflect on this gospel passage, I am struck by the incredible beauty and mystery of the transfiguration. Here we see Jesus in all his glory, shining like the sun and surrounded by the great prophets of old. It is a moment of pure wonder and awe, a glimpse into the divine nature of Christ that is both humbling and inspiring. But there is more to this passage than just a vision of glory. As the disciples looked on in wonder, a voice from heaven spoke, saying, This is my Son, the Beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. This voice was the voice of God, affirming the divinity of Jesus and calling the disciples, and us, to listen to his words and follow his example. In many ways the transfiguration is a foreshadowing of the resurrection, a promise of the glory that awaits us in heaven. It is a reminder that no matter how difficult our journey may be, no matter how many trials and challenges we face, there is always hope and light at the end of the tunnel. As I meditate on this passage, I am reminded of the importance of faith and trust in God. Like the disciples, we are called to listen to Jesus and follow his example, even when the path ahead seems uncertain or difficult. We are called to have faith in his promise of salvation and to trust in his love and mercy. I am also struck by the importance of prayer and contemplation in our lives. Just as Jesus took Peter, James, and John up the mountain to pray and be in the presence of God, so too must we take time to be still and connect with our Creator. It is in these moments of prayer and contemplation that we can experience a glimpse of the divine and be strengthened and renewed in our faith. Finally, I am reminded of the importance of community and fellowship in our journey of faith. Peter, James, and John were not alone on the mountain. They were there together supporting and encouraging one another. In the same way, we too need the support and encouragement of our fellow believers as we walk the path of faith. 